Hello there, and welcome to another DD map creation of mine. I will be doing the left tower today of the Castle of Woes, so we can call it whatever. Uh, the traditional being 25 by 25, I might games, and keeping to the traditional raw and unedited thought planning, listen in, maybe podcast it. Uh, my voice might not be the best for that, so do as you will. Put it on fast forward, mute me, do as you will. But be playing the left hand side of the castle today. So, keeping with that theme, I will be looking at the maps. I've got them tabbed over to the side, having, doing what I do. Making sure they're good to go. We're good to go. All right. So, traditionally, keeping the forest a thing, one, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then have a rock. I gotta get that stone out of the way. I don't really be using outdoor setting very much. So we'll go ahead and do the left side wizard. Get the wizard gizzard out of the way. Let's do a traditional stone wall. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then boop. And it proceeds to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Then it goes down and over to, then down and over, down and over, down, over to, and down. I noticed that they filled that out. Just on the outside. And we just put a fill of two going. No? No, no, we don't. Go ahead and get the bucket filled, get out of the way, get that marble floor filled in. I'll be going right here. Was it proceedingly so? Yes, it was. There. Exactly as it needs to be. Having go level one, going all the way up. Noting the exterior of the castle walls. Needing to do an edge paint. To solidify the walls inside and out. I mean, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. It doesn't look too bad, but I do like to have the uh, sharp corners on the edges here. When I have interiors, you could round them. Do as you will when you, if, if you do your own maps. Uh, for me, I'll be having the traditionalist approach, keeping everything as I can. Let's see here. Did I already go the outside? I already did. Let's uh, round those out a little bit. Ah, forgot one. Flatten it out. There we go. So we've already got the corners. Now we need another edge. One, two. Having a double. It goes. Nope. Goes. Nope. Nope. Come on. Goes here. Then it goes up. One, two, three, four. One, two, four. It needs to be fairly similar, is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to have, like, mirroring on the sides. And all the way to the end. Uh, hands not exactly as stable as it needs to be right now. There we go. So we've already got the tower built. Now, the rest of this can be similar to the other side. Maybe to add some confusion, again, for invading people. Doing one way or the other. Considering it's going to be a wizard's tower kind of approach. The second floor will be mostly the wizard's. It will be maybe uh, a little bit of a magic area. Thinking more of a larder for the main room. Uh, having a bit of um, alchemical room. So it's kind of a wizard's tower-esque kind of... It, hmm. Instead of a wizard's tower, maybe it would be... Nah, we'll keep it the wizard's tower kind of tower. Okay, maybe have a second guard post. Have, have a little bit of arcane going around. Keeping traditional guard post, adding a little bit of magic. So there's a wizard nearby. They've claimed this portion, a corner, to uh, do things with. Continue with the loadout. So, it being a three tall. One, two, three. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then seven. And then six goes up here. One. Two, three, four. 
two, three, four, leaves it open. Then it looks like it jets out, jets in. Then it proceeds to go all the way across until I get to three before the door. That's too much. There we go. There we go. Uh, this one, this long extended area, was the... Needs to go two up. One, two. And then we had the rest of the hallway going up here. Needs to have one, two, three. And then one right there, denoting the northern entrance going into the main grand hall area. We'll be having the traditional approach. I will have this be the kitchen area, and then slot, most likely, slot that in half. This having uh, the wizard's corner, adding maybe a couple of things into the tower. It will need the stairs. We will require that, for sure. Uh, keeping to the granite stair circular pattern. Uh... Rotate it around, keeping it too off. There we go. Shrinking it quite a bit, I believe. I had it on a three tall kind of scale. Three by three, there we go. Had it too off, one off the side. That's not exactly uniform. Maybe I'll need to count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, yes. We are... Slightly off, aren't we? Hi, uh, then it'd be a two. So here it is. Edge paint. That's the issue right here. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. Let us count. One, two, three, four, five. So that starts with a one. Then a two, then a three, three and three. There we go. Then we need to do a fill. Fill it in there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Ah, it's too tall. So it is slightly off. So one, two, three, four. And then the fifth one needs to be the stone. There we go. So I was slightly off. I'm not a perfect being. There we go. So I'm going to have to redo that slightly. But this is fine. Uh, boop. Boop. This is going to have to go here. There. That's going to have to nuke that. Going to have to get the walls redrawn. Uh, it doesn't look too bad for an exterior. All right. Now, needed to be a two, then a one drop, then a one drop, then a two. Okay. So, then I needed to one paint it. Hmm. A little bit off. So I've got the four, and then I've got a two. Go down one, then two over, then down one, then down, then down. Okay. So the X side is fine. So starting from the door, which we'll need to do the edge. Delete that. Uh, add that. Make sure that just looks a little bit off. So, door, then it needs to go straight down. There's my problem. The door needs to be immediate down. Needs to be down at the door. Here we go. Two. Then we one. Now go one. Two, one. Then down for two. Then down one all the way to the cross. There we go. That took a little bit. A little bit of trial and error. That's fine. There we go. 
now it is exactly as the other one. Need to get the double doors. Double with that iron bar, perhaps. Wooden iron, where would it be? I believe, yes, this is it. Have the iron on the outside. Denoting security. Placement. I'm going to have to increase this one slightly. Placement. Interesting how that works. Alright. So, we've got that slutchied up. Will we have this door? This passageway will be open. This passageway will be open. Having no carpets to go through. Maybe, actually, we would need a carpet area to start. That would be a bad idea. Natural stone, wood. Continuing with the theme, you know, being the kitchen area. It will just be the end. It'll just be the end of it. Nothing it's too off. There we go. Starting about right there. This side will be a little bit different from the other side. Uh, the top side and the right, the top right side. Uh, this side is going to be immediately into the grand eatery area, the dining room, large dining room, probably going to take up a big majority half of the room, the other half of it. Uh, we'll be having the main corridor going up to the north, and then a uh, small room for the main storage, I believe. That'd be the easiest way to have it. Have a uh, additional little wall area space to do stuff with. That would work out fairly well. They'd have access to it. That would work out fairly well. Continue with the... Uh, Borders, I believe I made, uh, let's just see, it goes up one, two, and then I it made that go all the way across, and I made this a stone pillar, and count how many slots that is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. Everything's going to have to be moved down, isn't it? Everything's going to have to be moved down. That's unfortunate. But doable. Need to be... Need to go the stonework. There we go. You're going to have to go down, and you're going to have to connect there. Go here, do that. Everything's going to have to go down one. Which means moving all the way across. I yeah. So, you're going to have to go down. And you're going to have to do that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, 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 good. And usually that connects all the way to the ladder area, but for this case. Uh, okay, so this is a three hallway. This is the. This should be a three hallway as well, which I can do right here. Removing that. There we go. Now we have the uniformity for the confusion's sake. Uh, keeping things. As they are. Uh, hit L to give it a nice little refresh, rebuffle. Hi, that'll work. That looks nice, that looks nice. Good, 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 good. Continue with the uh, stone wall, denoting that you're not allowed to go this way. Can keep that corner saying this could be an experimentation little lab area. Have a table. This being experimentation. This having food. Maybe there can be a ventilation. Uh, this will be a door. So I will need a double. I will need a double. Would it be studded? No. Would it be? It should probably just be normal wood. Double door frame. No, no. That looks not that good. I keep the double studded. But... Mayhaps keep it simple. 
There we go. Keeping it simple, not exactly the locked, not exactly studded. It's simple double door entrance to the north to get into the supply room should they need to. Now I need normal doors, top down, doesn't really need to be steel. I need to have not a latch. Uh, keeping with that, I like that little hook approach. Where are they? Curled handle, I believe these, this be it. Uh, a blue door here will need to be custom slightly. And a blue door here, customed slightly. Uh, the doors will be different because I doubt people will care that much. Denoting left and right, they're going to notice. Uh, you don't have to go too crazy with it. Uh, so, we go ahead and start working on the interior. We're already working on it. We'll need a fireplace, as I'm looking at the other one. Let's see here. I had the traditional fireplace that turned off. Did I not? Yes. This one's... That's not it. Fireplace. It was this one. Series fireplace 5B, not 6. So, 4A. Yeah, this was it. No, it had a circular. It had the circular round fireplace. It had the circular round bit on it. Here we go. I found it. And this was placed a little bit larger. There we go. Like so. Placed two down. And now one and a half. It looked like it was just barely wide. Uh... It says it's one and a half down, so I think I customed it. Looks like it's just a half, and it was placed. There we go. That would work. It is three, so yeah, just slightly smaller. And that's it. And it was one, two away from the door. There we go. Exactly as I need it. Now, rack. Uh, it was... I'll have to look through the actual items again to find out the ending. But we do need the top. Let's go ahead and start working for desks and tables. Would there be a fireplace? Yes, there would. There, we're going to need a fire. Fireplace. Alchemical fireplace. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Uh, ooh, that looks a little bit seasonal. Keeping with the tra keeping maybe no, I don't have to go exactly the same. I would like to have a active one, however. Hmm. Having a fireplace right there is not bad. Keeping it away yes this would be a uh, maybe a living area up here having his own little sleeping the wizard live here uh personal age to the king a ton of things uh books i get some books everywhere uh blow it up slightly have placed i've got him right here have it Placed right here, both sides of the fireplace, which is currently inactive, to be covered in books. Traditional rug types. Mm. Keeping right there. No, 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 no. We go with the normal. We're just gonna just, we're just gonna stick to as we need to. Uh, mayhaps a uh, table with a couple of potions. Right here. Blow it up slightly. Say, denoting maybe he's working on a few things. Uh, maybe it's the, uh, the, the Lord's Artificer. Maybe it can be the, uh, local Lord's... A confidant. M uh, medical room. Person. Of things. I don't know. Uh, keep it for training back there. Keep it for having a chest. Maybe put some stuff in it. Uh, keeping to the traditionalism of it. Uh, 
There we go. Having a bookshelf placement right there. Somebody who needs a lot of learning. Somebody who denotes learning. That would work. Keeping to the chairs. Uh, keep him... That size works. Uh, he would have an armoire. But will he touch it? Probably not often. Maybe closer to that side. Have two going crates, fireplaces, those traditional fireplaces. That would probably work better. No, this is the king's one. He's got the chest and everything, so this is a no. Let's see here. Would he have a forge? He probably would have a furnace of some kind. Maybe some lanterns. Perhaps working on some runes on the table. A small rune on the table here, denoting some kind of significance. Pictures, not exactly going for the pictures. Table for alchemist, there we go. Have a lock. And peel. There we go. Then we'd need a, uh, a barrel top. Maybe a barrel empty. Now you could put a simple barrel top right here. Maybe denoting that there'd be some uh, equipment in there. Put a put a couple of uh, put a couple of bottles. Maybe put a candle. Light, right there. Getting a little a little bit of more livery to it. Uh, let's see. Rotating it as so. Place it there. Placement. Off to the side, maybe got a hurry, moved it over. He jumps from chair to chair quite often. There we go, there we go. Did delete that one now. Next, 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 next. Would there be anything else in here for the display? Having the healer's table. Yes, that would work. Need to keep it about similar in size. That works. Have a latch. A man of many knowledge and factoids. Shelves pertaining to clothing that he barely uses. Shelf 2. Constantly getting himself in trouble with it. Uh, empty shelves over here. Noting constant fill. Keep things open, keep things interesting for the walkway. Maybe add a small pile. Uh, have a lab table down here. Yes, yes, yes. Continue to have table after this, table after that. Table leather, table maps, table market. Necromancy? We won't know it's a necromancy table. But keep this. I've used this actual... Apparatus a few times in my maps. It comes in handy, especially when you want to give people random herbs and stuff that they're using uh, herbs to do, you know, things. <laughs> you got a uh, a medical pouch you can use to create potions. I've already talked about that, I believe, in one of the first episodes. Let's see. Have a uh, weird necromancy, mayhaps, around the corner. No. No, have it pertaining to that location. I believe he would have a well of some sort. Water, should he need to. Constantly rummage around. No, uh, maybe having a chair. Uh, just scattered in the room. Uh, for he, he used to have them for sitting purposes, and not so much anymore. He doesn't really use them for sitting. Now, I would need a bed. Not really an ugly bed. Doesn't have to be a great bed either. Uh, large bed. Let's go with the traditional larger on the brown side. Keep it lock. Put it right there. That doesn't seem to fit this texture at all, does it? 
Let's see. We're more or less done with that. No, maybe we're not. I haven't done the kitchen yet. I uh, won't need the elven miscellaneous structures for windows. Uh, windows are a structural weakness for sieging, so no windows in my castle. <laughs> oh, boy. Vegetation, space, black and white. Arches, awnings. Ah, there would be some bags. Bags sprayed out, probably. Uh, having, uh, if you'd wish to, instead of using... Have it randomly rotated. Instead of randomly, like, randomly giving out supplies, you can have it open the bag for the clues. Maybe there's a ledger inside. Uh, he probably would use it for notes, so I need a letter. Uh, if you want to, uh, give it a letter. A stamp, perhaps. There'll be a letter on that paper. Mm, bags, barrels. We'll definitely need some barrels. Uh, yes, we'll definitely need... A few barrels, especially if we we're having the kitchen area. They'd have uh, an immediate stock place of goods and equipment. Uh, let's go. Let's get the benches out of the way, because I know that I'm going to need a few of those. Let's see. It was this style, but lighter. So lighter than that. Not that light. Not this light. Let's see here. I believe this was it. Had one, uh, cresting. Keeping to the traditional two. Yep, these are it. Keeping the traditional two. I believe arrow. Having buckets of arrows. Them being quite small. Having one, one, two... Three, and then having a one placed there. The fireplace has been placed. Uh, dummies. Keep them. Keeping the traditional. Going around. I uh, had it going a little bit like that. And basically covered its own little square over here. Yes, yes it did. A again, the uniformity is nice. Uh chest, or did I have it a box? I believe I had it one of those weird wooden chests. It's going to be slightly different. Location of the chest and everything and this one's going to be slightly off. It's going to even be a different chest. Maybe I won't even use that. Okay. So, as for... Yes, we do need a new bed, don't we? Bed rolls. Here we go. Keeping to the older side, having a small bed. Ooh, that would work. Uh, being still, that's a 15 foot bed, maybe not. Keeping it to, there we go, keeping it to standards. It's about a 10 foot, a bit of a large bed for the aid. Maybe a second pillow, should he need it. Uh, a bit of simple life, I do need a table. Maybe a table with some notes. Maybe just a normal table. Have it kind of a nightstand kind of thing at the end. Speaking of which. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then after a one, two. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. On number five, you're going to need one. Two after the door. And then across here. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Or three up. That works. Three up. I didn't move the entrance way down, did I? So I'll have to delete that. Because it's not the double anymore. Put that there. Did there. There we go. That ends up fitting it pretty well. Okay, so I did miss one thing at the end. OCD people, whoops. <laughs> I got it eventually. I got it eventually. So, good on beds. Don't need dirt or cracks. Uh, maybe some uh, dirt would work. Uh, get a floor crack in here. Maybe, maybe some slight erosion. 
a little bit of a denoting a little bit of wear and tear within this room. Now that's a bit of a large side of discoloration. Keep the erosion uh, splotch clean. Does that anything? Like, hey, something's uh, kind of happened over here. Adding a little bit of that. Oh, chemical has uh, fallen to the ground and kind of all over the place. Uh, yes. Uh, keeping a blank scroll. He wouldn't keep a blank scroll on his desk, but he would keep a book. Uh, he'd put it off to the side. Uh, being maybe on the right side. Yes. Give him a light. Keeping it there. Uh, having a book placed oddly aside. Maybe one he'll be reading later. Works out fairly well for me. Pretending a bookmark, maybe? No, 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 no. Necron books. Open books. Uh, maybe an older... Uh, book has been placed here. Just haphazardly stack of books. That's that's the point. Just a little bit of a haphazard stack of books. It's denoting a little bit of uh, chaos into his life. On top of everything else. Parchment. Yeah, there's the parchments. Uh, having a satchel bag. That'll work. Just uh, Just a little bit of chaos in that little corner. Got a sword if he needs to do anything in that regard. Books. Just a ton of knowledge and regions over here required left and right. That looks fairly well. He's got some damages. He's got water now in case the place burns. <laughs> Everything burns. Now I can use this. I had one on either side. Close. And I'll just reuse that. Uh, keeping it pertaining to close. It's fine to reuse some of the assets and stuff like that. There's, it's the smaller details. There's only three of those assets anyways. So, next thing. Uh, I think we're good with books. Bottles. Ooh, bottles are nice. Bottle of distillant, maybe perhaps. I feel like adding a little bit of chaos into this group. Uh, distilling near the fire. There we go. Maybe something that needed to be close to a heat source, and that's the fireplace. Mm -hmm. It had to be maintained and watched as he read his books at the end of the day. Uh, I believe. Boxes of piranha. Yes, yes, yes. Piranha stuffs, indeed. Have a few baskets placed around. Let's have one. Random orientation placed on top of those, should they need them. Uh, crates of food, yes. Uh, oh no, that's a little bit large. Crate of kittens, uh, have to that there with the crate of potatoes and bread. Uh, yes, so they're going to be using most of it for the larder. There's not going to be a lot in here, so we will need the kitchen kind of style in here. So we're going to need the long tables for the worksman shift. Uh, barrels being the uh, the larger stuff that things are going to be using all the time that they ever get out. They have a surplus. They don't constantly go back and forth. Maybe not. Maybe we won't use those. I'll save the... Uh, I'll save it for the larder. The uh, dedicated food storage larder. Stack of stacks. Stack of stacks. Ooh, tongue. Bridges, burial, bushes, cages, carpets. Mm, no, wagons. Chairs, chess, coins, forging. Would they have any food? A baker's market. Mm. So to say, not that bad of an idea. Ah, uh, yes, 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 here we go. Have a large area. Pertaining to, but not dedicated to. Uh, 
constantly running around. Uh, oof, it doesn't actually fit, does it? It doesn't fit. I was hoping for the uh, locations to fit. But I guess this is fine. Keeping to traditional methods. Constantly producing and moving and moving and 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 producing. Oh my gosh, I can imagine this being annoying. Maybe not have anything. Would need the outgoing. Uh, keeping to... Having... Slightly off. Why are you slightly off? It is you. But it doesn't fit. Ah! Oh, that, that bonds. That bonds. Because they're not exactly the same, it burns. Ooh, that burns. That burns a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. I believe we'll just be keeping with the traditional woodens then. Having, uh, I'll just copy that, make it the same size. Having, let's see here. Ah, hmm. uh, this is a tricky one. Yes, keeping it like that, having a stove top area up to the side, to the north area. That works. I think we'll be good for that. We don't need any of that. Crafting forge. Baker's work table. Well then, there we go. Keeping it a little bit on the larger side. Potentially, yes, that works. A nice little prefab. Crafting and forge with a bedroom preset in there. I, I don't understand that at all. Barker's Market, Altar, Alchemist Table, Alk, 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 Weapons, 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 Anvil, Anvil, Armors, Armors, blah, 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 Blood, Sucking Machine, ooh, that's nasty. Blasted Entranceway? Oh, oh, wow, I, I'll save that. That's actually pretty cool. I've never noticed these. Blasted through door. Blasted through big double door. I think they're both double doors. Bar presets. Bone saw. Uh, bookshelves. That's not a bad idea. Having a bookshelf over here. Denoting maybe they need to look up a recipe. Should they choose to. Uh, a butcher's uh, end. Over here. Keeping food and the likes. Maybe they're in the middle of preparing a meal. Uh, yeah. Maybe it'd be better to have these empty tables instead of these down here. Uh, these are the outgoing tables. Hmm. Would have to have a, a decent space. This is where the crates are coming handy. Delete. Would have the stack them. Keeping materials. Yes. Uh, cheese working table. Cast iron. Here's some stoves. Card game. Candlestick maker. Butchers. Get that cast iron stove going. Get a few of these. I believe I would lock these in place. Uh, about five feet across? Maybe not. They would have them um, separated, should they need to. Five. Six into the corner. Five would be fine. Let's see. Having bags. 
yes, bag of goods and items. Having another bag placed at that end. Maybe a bag under that, so to say. There we go. Artist copy, artisan. There's more of the baker's. Yes, yes, yes. I've already gone here. Cheese table. Ooh, cheese tables are nice. This is where you actually start getting the fun stuff. The cheese be staying near. No, no, no. Probably be leading that one and that one. Having the uh, barrels and everything be stuffed near the back. We need some things behind the table itself if they need to grab it. Smoke chimney for the top. Chimney, chimney, chimney. Uh, wouldn't need that. Coal furnace, maybe. It's a nice uh, active coal furnace. Should they uh, need anything in that regard? Not a big desk. Dread forges, dwarven answer. Bambles. Uh, filling table. Hmm. Can use this to fill out some of that empty space. For potions, nah, no need for that. Dough maker. There's some fireplaces with spigots. There's some chicken on there. That's a bit too decorated. There's a fish table. Hmm. That works out fairly well. Uh, delete the middle one. Turn it around. Fish table. Accepted. There we go. Uh, being part of the king's uh, situation, they would have everything. I would need probably a bakery. Forge cold. Forge foundry furnaces. Furnaces. Looms. Mad scientist. Map table. Maps. Lab desk. Have that placed at a furnace. New forges. Potion racks. Preset markets having rope, yes. Preset round wizard table, table of weapons, tavern. Maybe I could use the tavern tables. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Just to go with it. No crystals, crates. Here we go. It was that one, it was... This one. This is the crate that was used over here. We placed it at a door. Default, default. There we go. So, this is officially done. The mad scientist room is officially done. Now we need to potentially fill out the rest of the kitchen table. A lot of empty room, I've noticed. Maybe have a single door instead of a double. No, keep the double. Keep the double. Keep the double. We're moving things back and forth. They need to move something large. They just need to go in a hurry. People are going to be going back and forth. That makes sense. Having a bigger entrance. Why? They're going to be going back and forth from there all the time. Uh, crates of... I don't want to know what that is. Crates of oranges. Uh, fulfilling the crate prophecy over here. Crates of... Limes. Noting a lot of fruits in that corner. Don't need cushions or pillows. None of that. We're not cannibals here. No doors. No need for dummies. Fences. Fire. Flags. Flares. Food kitchen. Here we go. Uh, you can have some food prepared. Bowl of stuff. Large bowl. A basket of squash. Have a baked pie. Yeah, that'll work. Having a few finished goods over here. Ah, uh, no. I said the finished goods would be here. In case they, you know, decide to get hungry. Having some available fruits and vegetables. Gonna be on the smaller side. Some bananas laying to rest. Maybe not there, but... On the edge, having some more bowls and plates, having a basket, having a place like that right there would be good. 
Having some bowls, yes. Bowl of food, bowl of food. Denoting if whether or not it'd be close to meal time, should they be hungry. Having a plate of some kind. Having another pie. For the immediate grab and go. Uh, should they need that? They don't need this. Let's see here. Having a bowls. Having a few placed bowls. Should they need to do anything? Maybe they'll be placed back further. That would be a better idea. Hmm. A little bit lackluster in ideas in this one. So, again, now you can have a murder mystery inside the kitchen. You can have it be, uh, if you need to go to the larder, this being the only access way to the larder, being that the obje objectively end goal. A few things in that regard. Stack some bowls here. Maybe not like that. Maybe a little bit closer. Stack of bowls. Uh, a stack, some, you can obviously see those are some bowl. The stacks of bowls lined up against the side there. Uh, some bagels, some breads. Some plates. Uh, finished foods down to the south, for sure. Uh, meat processing, raw and over here. Bakeries and cheese, the flour, dairy corner in that regard. Uh, having some fairly open areas. Uh, maybe having, uh, some footprints. Denoting that people will be, uh, kind of constantly walking around. Uh, that'd be nice. Maybe not. That, that's adding a little bit too much. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Fountains and wells. They would probably have a fountain in here, for sure. A fairly large fountain. Lock it in place. Access now. The fountain should probably be located near the furnaces. The uh, cast iron. Games casino. Gardens. Gates. Gears. Ghost grating. Holes. Houses. Holes. Hmm. Could work with that. Library. There we go. Uh, some scattered books. Ink spills. Nothing really. Exactly. I mean, big, large, open kitchen space. Mm. Constantly thoroughfare. You notice that the big area, like you have to constantly keep a area open. I think what I'll do is, is that I'll end up using the same door type. Right here. And Nope, I'll do that, but instead make it marble. Then I'll do this. Keeping it to the same size. There we go. Make it a double. Having to go in and out of the kitchen space quite often. Having a large entryway for the through traffic. A bit of a cross traffic area here to put the uh, finished foods and the finished meats. Uh, plate. Get a couple of plates. Sushi plates. Cuttery. Whew, there's not really a lot. That head on up. No. No, don't do that. That wouldn't look nice. Lighting. Market. Sci-fi. Yeah, we're going into the sci-fi area now. So, basket of eggs. You can save that into the lot area. Is there anything at the end? Turkey. Weird. Wine racks. Wine racks. We'll be using those for sure next time. For sure. It will be a closed system. The only way into it, it will literally be. So, and if you're going to be back, going back and forth, it may be better just in the long run, to have the maps adjacent to each other. Again, 25 by 25 for all of these castle maps. You can end up having a 50 by 75 wide map if you put everything together. And I will be adding a second floor. There's not going to be a lot to the second floor. It's mostly going to be the towers and the ramparts. If you wanted to do a kind of siege, internal fight kind of thing. Do all that fun stuff. Uh, ooh, Maybe these would work better. These look like it would work a lot better than those down there. Delete you. Go away. Don't need you anymore. 
getting four. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, the rest of them using traditional. Yes. That one's hot. A little bit to change your color. Somebody's currently fixing up something. As for sitting, I will need a chair, which actually I think I'll just reuse the sitting about right there. Uh, stripping of that, going here, stripping of that. There we go. Noting the chairs have been placed and the chairs are done. And now we need to decorate the interior. We're going to need the uh, light, which is candle bra. And uh, yes, the candle bra lit. I had it snapped. That being the right size. Yes, 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 and yes. And now I'm going to need to look for the statues, which are down there to the bottom. Food and kitchen. I believe we're done. Creates. Mushrooms, music, occult, peers, plants, shelves and cupboards. Ooh, maybe. Having a few things with items. Cabinets with stuff. We're not using corners. Chests, center drawers. Cabinets. It's fairly large. Hmm. Hmm. Anything. Cabinet, 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 cabinet. Ah. Uh, pantry. Doesn't really fit the desire for that does it ah shelves here we go you can add this to this side you get a little bit more life to it i believe we would oh they definitely would have another table of this area and for the finishing of goods, would totally finish it with that regard. Uh, basically, the bakery, the cheese had their own little corner working in. They put everything on that table. The servants walking in the thoroughfare area, they put it on the uh, go from point A to point B, moving everything. Eventually, it would be going in and out, going, bringing it back, bringing it back from here to there. The fish, the meat. Uh, the meat eventually being passed down the line for the meat to be cooked. The bakery and everything being baked at one central location. You can bake plenty with that large oven. Keep in mind, this thing's about, eh, it's about seven feet wide. So you can fit quite a few things in there. Shelves and cupboards, so that ended up working out fairly well. Top drawer, wardrobe, no, no sieging. There will potentially be at the top floor. Uh, I wouldn't say so much cannons as maybe some ballistas at the top. Stage, statues, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this one down. Or am I looking for the ones up? Uh, the ones, ah, uh, details, details. So, had it placed here, had it placed there. I had one here. Had one here. And one there. Very well. Main passageways are covered. Uniformity is applied. Security is enforced. Uh, maybe some tapestry. I had the large white one. Maybe use this one this time. For that area. It was exactly... It was one up right here. There we go. That's it. Keeping... No, it was a little bit up. Here's a half up. There we go. Keeping to the true blue. If you want to have windows, uh, you can add your own... You can, like, RP your own windows, stuff like that. Uh, I could do windows. But, as you'll probably notice, it's like, okay. But it's a, it could be annoying to go out. And it, they wouldn't really have a lot of windows on the bottom floor anyway. Because you need to realize structural security and all of that nonsense. Uh, as for this, you probably would have a spout draining out. I'll leave that to you. The tower probably going to cover about half. And this is probably going to be just open roof place. 
maybe something in the middle that's going to be uniformly between all the a, uh, all six maps. Maybe. Other than that, I think we are good to go. Maybe it's a couple of etchings. There's some more tables, adventure plannings. Nope. I believe we're good to go. It's a good time. Good finish. Good detailed layout. Able to get the minute details into the map. And I'll leave it there. So, as per usual, thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. Get like it. Put a thumbs down. That way at least I know. And comment why you like it, why you don't like it. And subscribe, please. If you enjoy the content, you want to see more of it. I upload every day. It'll be about 5 o'clock every weekday. Let me clarify. So, usually unedited for now. I also stream Battletech random stuff on Twitch, but that's just what it is, what it is. I will see you next time. Take care.